Hi guys, this video is very exciting because we will purchase a web hosting for our WordPress site. We will choose the most cheap and reliable web hosting later in this video. But before that, we will compare these three famous hosting provider, hostgator.com, bluehost.com, and stablehost.com. Most web hosting provider offer a specialized hosting for WordPress. And any beginner in WordPress, they get attracted on this WordPress hosting plan. They say, wow, they have a hosting for WordPress. You do not know what features providing on that WordPress hosting plan. This. The thing you need to care when you buy a web hosting is whether they use SSD storage spaces, how much input output bandwidth and the bandwidth speed they providing. And the thing you need to care about whether they allow you to customize each and everything in your web hosting, you cannot expect this on WordPress web hosting plan. I strongly advise guys, you should avoid this type of package WordPress hosting plan and any web hosting provider because this is pre-optimized for WordPress. You can customize each and everything you need. We will purchase a web hosting package suitable for everything. Not only for WordPress, all web application. Because you can customize each and everything you need. We will know this guys after we successfully made a purchase. Of course, we will choose wisely and the best price. Let's click this. And Bluehost shared hosting, this is web hosting package. And let's choose the web hosting package of three famous web hosting provider. Now guys, all web hosting provider offers a different plan, hatching plan, baby plan, and everything. For Bluehost, basic plan, plus plan, and for stable host, starter and pro plan. If you need a single domain for your web hosting, you can choose this. If you more than one domain name, of course, you proceed to this plan. Unlimited domains, unlimited bandwidth, or unmetered. Unlimited, unlimited. This plan is good for one website only. And this stable host, one domain only for this plan, and this is the unlimited plan. I like these features, guys. SSD powered from stablehost.com. Let's search. Let's try to search. There's no SSD word. SSD. Let's view the technical specs. There's no SSD word. Okay. Of course, guys, for the first time customers, they offer a discount coupon. 43% off, 40% off, and 60% off. Same on this two web hosting provider. They offer a coupon for first time customers. In my case, guys, I choose this plan because I have more than one domain. Select this. We will comparing the price, guys. Let's start in hostgator.com. Okay, for baby plan. The best choice for billing cycle is 36 months, which is you can get a higher discount. If I break down to 12 months, only 25% off. I will choose 36 months, 40% off. And remove this add-ons. Remove this. Remove this add-ons. Remove this add-on. 
And also, for the first-time customers, you can get a discount. And the final price, guys, for 36 months is $214, and your discount is $144. Let's scroll up. Did you notice this, guys? $9.95 a month. This is the renewal price, meaning after 36 months, the price of your package will be $9.95 a month. For me, this is expensive. Let's compute this. For the next 36 months, yes, this is the next we pay after 36 months in HostGator. Let's compare the price host gator for renewal price and let's go to bluehost scroll down usually guys you get a discount for first time customers in as you see 45 percent off for 36 months if i break down to 24 you get 37 off discount. The best option is the more months, 36 months. Remove these add-ons, guys. We don't need this. You can do this in your own. I will teach this how to back up your WordPress website in my YouTube channel. And the final price for 36 months is $214. And the renewal price is not displayed here. Let's go to this website. I made a research, guys, about the renewal price for Bluehost web hosting. Let's scroll down and let's see the table. This is the table and this plan we choose. And uh, this is with discount for the first time customers. I see. After the 36 months, the price will be increased. So, there have a renewal price increase after 36 months. This is very expensive for me. Times 36. This is so expensive after 3 years. Normally, for the first time customers, you get a discount, but when you renew, no discount anymore. You can get a discount in renewal, guys, because that's against of the term of service. That's for in every web hosting service. No discount in renewal price. All discount made by first time customers only. Let's go to stable host. Let's back. I choose this guys pro package choose this I have my domain name continue and let's see we will choose the best option guys 36 months because I want to stay a long time in web hosting service if you choose uh, one month three months or six months that's too short the best choice is 24 months or the very best is 36 months like I choose see if you choose uh, 36 months the more you get a discount and the price is 270 that's not final this is not discounted yet guys continue in Bluehost, this is already discounted. As you see, this is the discounted already. And stable host, we apply the discount to here. I have a promo code 40W0EJ5, validate code. And as you see, guys, the discount applied. And the price for today, $160. And as you see, guys, the renewal price is $270 for in every three years. This is cheap.
than other these two? Yes, a stable host is cheap for renewal price. And let's compare the price today for the first time customers. $162 in stable host. $214 in Bluehost and $214 also in HostGator. This is cheap guys other than two web hosting service. Let's review this before we purchase. Review. Review the features of this web hosting. Unlimited disk space, bandwidth, unlimited domain, and the SSD powered online web builders and there have a uh, features here guys in this plan there have a uh, one full core this is good memory 2 gig this is very good memory for web hosting and also cpanel send os apache this three web hosting is quality in reliable web hosting service i finally decide i choose stable host other than these two web hosting service because the price is cheap no high renewal price the same price when I renew this package and I fill in this guys in off screen the payment is credit card or debit card or PayPal I will do this guys off screen so see you on the next page okay guys I successfully made a purchase this is the order confirmation page and after I purchase, I receive an important email from stablehost.com and let's see that email. This is the email letter regarding setup time. It can take up to 12 hours. They review guys and every each account. They review my debit card if they have a problem whether fraud or not but I'm not a fraud. If in case there is a problem of my debit card, I need to submit a copy of my photo ID or utility bill. This is normal guys. This is in every web hosting service. You need to cooperate on this. Another email I received after I made a purchase is your cPanel username and password and control panel which is the cPanel. And also, this is the important information of your server. We need to add this in GoDaddy to our purchase domain. We will add this, guys, to talk the domain to this web hosting server. Copy this. Copy. Go to your GoDaddy account. Click your Manage My Domain. And scroll your purchase domain manage dns scroll up and let's change this to custom and enter the ns1 and ns2 copy this process is talk to your domain in the web hosting server stable hosts save it takes up some time guys to propagate the domain in web hosting and this is fine close this and let's see the control panel URL or C panel and this is the C panel URL once your domain name and web hosting propagated this is your new C panel URL in the next video, we will explore the features of this cPanel. So see you next video. Bye.